you found Twitch, the pulse of the video game revolution. On this Twitch, battle with the best weaponry the military has to offer in return fire. I'll show you how to have x-ray vision in Doom for the PlayStation. We'll discuss strategy for Cleek, the DNA imperative. We'll show you ASCII wear a specialized joystick for the Sony PlayStation. And we'll let you know what we thought of NBA Shootout. And the kids going to Chicago with NBA hang time to make my own player. Then I'm going to Albuquerque to hang out with actors Kim Hooper of Vampire Diaries. I think she likes it. Our featured game is NBA Shootout for the PlayStation. First up, shooting games. Let's twitch. Shooter. 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 If you're done with Doom and you're gunning for a new shooter, your mission is to try Kalik the DNA Imperative. Kalik sinks to new depths in graphics and action, and that's a good thing. And it's available for your Sony PlayStation. If there was a video game Oscar for cool opening graphics, Kalik may be our winner. It tells the story of a mad scientist who threatens to poison all of mankind with a mutant strain of DNA. Situation critical. Kim must be stopped. You alone can enter his underground maze of mutant mechs, and maybe you can solve the puzzle that will save the human race. Go in blasting, knowing you've got help from Carlos, a member of your team that was taken out by the evil Dr. Kim. Listen to his directions. Wherever he is, he seems to know something. The enemy is everywhere and attacks without warning. Also, listen for the beeps of your enemy. Sometimes they give the bad guys away. You'll need to collect a key card before you can move on to the lower, tougher levels. There are lots of maps and guides, so take a second to read once in a while, and you may live a little longer. Speaking of longer life, watch for power-ups. They are all over the ground. Just move over them, and they're yours. Having that little bit of extra energy can really make a big difference when the bad boys are blasting away at you. This is a shooter, so the weapons are killer. You'll discover new weapons along the way, like this super blaster and a laser gun. Laser gun secured. Don't hesitate to shoot. Nobody's hesitating to shoot you, and they will get you. It won't be pretty. But hey, you're trying to save the world here. What, do you think it'd be easy? Throughout the game, the 3D graphics will keep you entertained, even when you're being blasted from all sides. Kalik, the DNA imperative for the Sony PlayStation. Play it as though the future of the world Repair depends on it. Secured. I am Scary Larry, senior editor over at GamePro Magazine. I've been playing video games pretty much all my life. I take a critical look at almost everything I do, so I'd say I've been reviewing them since I was about 12 years old. Usually I take, I, I battle the controversial ones. I do the Killer Instinct, I do the Mortal Kombat 3s, the games that really get the readers jumping one way or the other. When a game breaks new ground in, in the video game with its technology like Super Mario Brothers did, like Donkey Kong did, um, like Vector Man is doing now for the Genesis. The game has such a unique look and such a unique feel that you're not only impressed by the, the fun and the sound and the quality of the graphics, you're also impressed by the gameplay. You want to go back to it and play it over and over again. I find that those are the best games, the games that after you put them down for a while, you're itching to get back to it sooner or later. I always think, well, this is it. I've had enough of get video game reviewing, and then the next day, something even better shows up, so I go right back to it. Action! Action. owners were the first players to get a shot at high-tech capture the flag and return fire. Now PlayStation owners can relive those old memories of summer camp. Now with advanced military weaponry. The graphics are way better. But return fire isn't about graphics. It's about vehicles and weapons. That's where the fun is. You can drive an all-terrain Hummer just like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Not to mention a tank, a helicopter, and an armored support vehicle. Each vehicle has its own strengths, and it's wise to learn the best way to use each one. If you need to know what your enemy is up to, send out your helicopter for recon. Bring in the tanks to clear out walls, gates, buildings, and whatever else gets in your way. When you've located the other side's flag, get your Hummer and retrieve it. You can even use the other team's supply depot to resupply your vehicles.
The game is most fun with two players. Take on a friend <laughs> or an enemy. When you finish the round, you'll get a different animation sequence and a password save code, and you'll need it, because this challenging game isn't one you'll beat in one city. Return fire for the Sony PlayStation. Capture the flag enters the virtual age. Here's how we felt about Return Fire for the Sony PlayStation. Return Fire is a great game. It's got really nice graphics, really good sound, and decent control. The best thing about it is the two-player option. This is the ultimate two-player game. If you love blowing things up with high-tech vehicles, this is the one to get. The graphics weren't great, but the classical music really sets the mood. Still to come on Twitch, we've got level passwords for Thunderstrike 2. And Sports takes the Twitch review with a look at Sony's latest basketball simulator. In Thunderstrike 2 for the Sony PlayStation, the ultimate high-speed gunship has been unleashed on a group of terrorists. Who is the commander of this state-of-the-art death machine? You. You'll fly 26 different missions into trouble spots around the globe, including both day and night assaults. Your targets consist of enemy tanks, planes, ships, and troop carriers. Your chopper is fully equipped with an arsenal of cluster bombs, missiles, rocket pods, and the standard chain guns. Pick from three different views. From the nose of the craft itself, inside the cockpit, main target dead ahead, or above and in back of the tail. Travel over varied terrain, through mountains, along valleys, and over deserts and seas, right into the enemy's hidden base. The sounds in this game are pretty good, and although the music is uninteresting, at least it's not annoying. And during each mission, you hear the helpful voice of Mission Control, giving you important info. Uh, hello, Parsons. I'm copy on the code 179 -er. This is a green light for a go, go, go. Play control is responsive, and while it might take some time to become familiar with all the options on the controller, after a while, you feel like a seasoned pro. The new player's primary concern should be to spend some time becoming familiar with the maneuvering of the chopper. Too many direct hits spell doom for the rookie pilot, and certain weapons will do better against an air target than a ground target. These are things that can only be learned by experience. The graphics in this game are fair. The pop-up is a major problem, though, because when you fly through the desert, you'll find mountainsides popping up where previously there were only open spaces. This causes you to end up in a dead end that you could have sworn wasn't there a moment ago. It's a major flaw in the design of the game. The best part about Thunderstrike 2 is the difficulty levels, because it's not so hard you want to give up on it, and yet it stays challenging enough to be fun for a good long time. Hey. I got level codes for Thunderstrike 2 on the PlayStation version. It's gonna let you create total mayhem! To input these codes, go to the password entry and just put them in. On your screen now are the stealth setting codes, levels 1 through 3. Hurry up and write them down. To do battle in the South China Sea for levels 1 through 3, input the codes you see on your screen right now. Then go on and destroy, destroy, destroy. Main target dead ahead. To put an end to all the problems in the Persian Gulf, here are the codes for the Gulf One Canyon levels. And then to end the whole thing, just enter what you see now. Hey, that should keep you weapon warriors happy for a while, but listen, you didn't hear that from me, okay? We're checking out the ASCII Wear Specialized Joystick for the Sony PlayStation. This is your basic arcade-style type controller, with a few extra features that give it the advantage over a regular controller. Yeah, it's built exactly like an arcade-style joystick with micro-switches in the stick to give you that arcade feel. It's also got programmable rapid fire and slow motion. I really like this joystick a lot. It's really durable, it fits well on your lap, and it's excellent for Street Fighter type games. Yeah, definitely. If you're a fighting game fan, this is necessary equipment for your gaming. If you like shooters, you're going to want to put the rapid fire on and just blast away. Or if you have a little bit of trouble, you put the slow motion on and get through games in no time.
Get ready, sports fans, because JVC has brought the genre of the 3D polygon fighting game to boxing. In center ring boxing for the Saturn, you'll fight your way up the ranks to become the world champ or the palooka that almost was somebody. First, you'll need a fighter. Use one of the preset boxers or create one of your own. Pick your fighter's look, style, physical attributes, and different skills. What you choose really makes a difference in how your guy or your gal performs in the ring. If you want to get better, you gotta go into training. CRB gives you a bunch of attacks, defenses, and moves that are true to boxing form. The effectiveness of your punches and your defense is naturally determined by the attributes of your fighter and by the skills of your opponent. Oh, this is cool. You can get a variety of views, angles, and zoom capabilities. The key to winning this game, as in real boxing, is as follows. Throw smart punches. Remember, accuracy is important in boxing because there are refs keeping score. Know your opponent. Each boxing style has a weakness. Find the weakness and attack. Also, watch your power and damage bars. If they're getting low, cover up and back off so you can regain some strength and stamina. If not, you'll be the one on the mat. Another nice feature of this game is the ability to replay a whole round while working the camera angles. If you beat all 31 contenders in your division, not only are you the champ, but you get to access some, well, unique new fighters. Check these guys out. Keep your rhythm. What a burn! Look at that killer! The boxers move on their feet pretty good, but sometimes the punches are a little slow off the controls. I think that was my problem, too. Uh-oh, here comes round two. Smart thing. Why, Elena? How nice of you to drop by. You play in Vampire Diaries, Caroline, who's a bitch. Yes. How much of that really is that? <laughs> Not a lot. <laughs> Not a lot at all, unfortunately. How does uh, acting on the interactive level differ from, oh, you know, God. doing the feature film or the television series? I walked in here and got terrified. You've got to be so technical and you've got to keep your emotion, everything in, in the form of a box. That's as far as you could go. Because even if you did this, you're out of the box. When does Caroline, when does she like get her head cut off or cut somebody's head off and spew blood and guts everywhere. I don't die. I don't get my head cut off. I don't get blood into a million pieces. None of that. Where's the fun you're at? You're stuck with me. Where's the fun at? You're going to have to play this and you're going to like it. You're going to like it. I promise. Even you as a guy, you're going to like it. Well, I'll have to take your word for it. But you know what? If I like it, I'll definitely call you and tell you. Yeah, yeah call me and tell me. Call my agent. <laughs> Don't go away. Our Twitch trip continues with an update on a b-ball classic. Plus, check out our review on Sony's home basketball simulator, NBA Shootout. Did you ever wish you had the finesse of Penny Hardaway, the rebounding ability of Dennis Rodman, or the power of... George Mirasan. Well, if you do, then Hang Time is the game for you guys. Tell us more about it. Designer, Sal DeVita. Yeah, I could uh, tell you that this game has everything that our old games had. And one major new addition is something called Create a Player. That's where a player can go in and make a player exactly how he wants. Go into heads, my heads section and change. Alien and, chicken. Yeah, chicken head, the alien head, cow head. The person Stop. Merlin. OK, uniform. Go through, and you can choose all these different colors of uniform here. Oh, okay. Green. Green, yeah. okay. Attributes. Uh, I can go through and make him as strong or as weak as I want, as tall as I want, as fast as I want, or shoot well. Uh, but I've only got so many points to play with before I, I run out, so I have to be careful on how I choose my attributes here. And there he is. And, I, and I'm playing with Dennis Rodman. I can play with whoever I want. I can go through and change his hair color to whatever I want. And here I go. Game oh. on. Game on. Oh, I stole that nice from him. Steal. He tried to dunk on me, but he did not succeed. Rather than dunk it for me. No. Oh, there goes for Nelly. Oh, oh. Nice. Oh, who'd have thought he could beat and compete against some of the NBA's elite using guys like your grandpa or Merlin, a cow's head, even an alien. Only in hang time. I love this stuff.
If you've been waiting for a hoops game that makes you think you're watching NBA action on TV, well, NBA Shootout for the Sony PlayStation is as real as you're going to get. A good sports simulation needs options. You've got all 29 NBA teams with over 300 NBA players. You can play an exhibition game or play a full season through the playoffs. Have all your friends over and play with two multi-taps for up to eight players. Trade players, sign free agents, set the difficulty, it's all up to you. NBA fans will recognize some of the dunks right away because they were all motion captured by the game designers with the help of Golden State Warriors guard Latrell Sprewell. This game will turn into a slam fest if you don't play tough D. Players have Spree's full aerial assault at their disposal, and they are not afraid to use it. The problem is, everyone has the same dunks, even the little guys. I mean, there's something wrong with little Muggsy Bogues dunking over a towering Dikembe Mutombo. The dunks are spectacular, but they are not the only thing that make this a great game. The players move realistically, if just a bit slowly, and the team reacts to your play calling on the fly. The courts for all 29 teams look like their real-life counterparts, and the home crowd reacts to every play. You can even rewind a great play to see it develop in slow motion. Dunks, jump shots, steals, blocks, mid-air dishes, you'll see it all in this game. There are a few faces missing from this game because of licensing agreements with other companies. Chances are, if you've seen a player's face on another company's game, he's probably not in this one. Even so, every True Hoops fan is going to want a copy of NBA Shootout for their PlayStation. We've been playing NBA Shootout for the Sony PlayStation. The game looks nice, and the controls are decent, but I couldn't stand it. I can't believe we're playing the same game. Uh, this is my favorite basketball game right now. Well, sometimes I don't think we're playing the same system, Kevin, because there's no defense in this at all. Well, I kind of like that fact, because then I can take it to the hole with some authority. I mean, I'm a white guy. I can't jump. That's why you're always playing this basketball game. I mean, and I didn't like the fact that every time you made a basket, they had to have that big replay of you making the basket. It's just get on with it. Well, that's kind of uh, the same as a TV broadcast, though. You want to see that action play in... So you kind of rub it in. On every single shot, though? Well, you may be right. Every single time? I think there are a few things wrong with this game, but overall, I think it's a solid title. It might not be as good as some other basketball games on the genre, but I think you might like it. This game stinks. I wouldn't get it if somebody gave it to me for free. The control is okay, the graphics are okay, but it's just so boring. <laughs> Here's a couple of quick tips for you fans of Doom gaming on your Sony PlayStation. And if you want lots of goodies, then while you're playing, pause the game and enter. X, triangle, L1, up, down, R2, left, left. And there you go. Tons of great stuff. Now how about a little help seeing through some solid objects? X-ray vision would help do the job, and here's how to get it. Once again, enter this code while the game is paused. Pushed L1, R2, L2, R1, right, triangle, X, right. Now everything should be a little clearer. It's a whole new way of looking at Doom. Don't turn that VCR off yet. The Twitch Tip Recap reviews all the codes. Here's the Twitch Tip Recap. To input level codes for Thunderstrike 2 on the PlayStation, go to the password entry and enter the level codes listed here. To do battle in the South China Sea for levels 1 through 3, input the codes you see on your screen now. Here's the codes for the Gulf 1 Canyon levels. To end the whole thing, just enter what you see now. Here's a couple of quick tips for you fans of Doom gaming on your Sony PlayStation. If you want lots of goodies, then while you're playing, 
pause the game and enter X, triangle, L1, up, down, R2, left, left. For x-ray vision, enter this code while the game is paused. Push L1, R2, L2, R1, right, triangle, X, right. Have any secret tips or codes you want to share on Twitch? Email them to us along with your comments at intro at tcint.com or send us a letter at Intro Television, 4100 East Dry Creek Road, Littleton, Colorado, 80122. On the next Twitch, we've got level passwords for Alien Trilogy, a behind-the-scenes look at the making of video games, and the Twitch review of Guardian Heroes.